breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. They would have blamed Ipob if he had died. Deju Adeyoju fought manner of Umosu's arrest. They would have blamed Ipob if he had died. Deju Adeyoju fought manner of Umosu's arrest. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and stay tuned as I welcome you to today's news. Following the controversial arrest of Uche Unwosu, the son-in-law of a former governor of Imo State, Owele Richards Okorocha, Deji Adeyoju, react with an opinion. According to Sahara reporters, the arrest incident happened during a church service in his hometown, Eziyama Obieri in inquiry local government area of Imo State. Reacting to the incident, Deji Adenyaju, a human rights activist, believes if Uche Unwosu was killed mistakenly when he was about to be arrested, the police would have denied it and rather blamed it on the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and IPOB. According to many opinions, the police should have arrested him professionally as against using marked operatives and behaving like kidnappers. Following the controversial arrest of Uche Nwosu, the son-in-law of a former governor of Imo State, Owele Rochas Okorocha, the Jiadeyaju react with an opinion. According to Sahara reporters, the arrest incident happened during a church service in his hometown, Ezi Ama Obi Eri, in Inquiry Local Government Area of Imo State. Reacting to the incident, the Jiadeyaju a human rights activist believes if Uche Nwosu was killed mistakenly when he was about to be arrested, the police would have denied it and rather blamed it on the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. According to many opinions, the police should have arrested him professionally as against using marked operatives and behaving like kidnappers. Following the controversial arrest of Uche Nwosu, the son-in-law of former governor of Imo State, Owele Rochas Okorocha, the Jiaden Yaju react with an opinion. According to Sahara reporters, the arrest incident happened during a church service in his hometown. Eziyama Obi Eri in Inquiry Local Government Area of Imo State. Reacting to the incident, Deji Adenyaju, a human rights activist believes if Uche Nwosu was killed mistakenly when he was about to be arrested, the police would have denied it and rather blame it on the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOP. According to many opinions, the police should have arrested him professionally as against using marked operatives and behaving like kidnappers. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Now let's move to the comment section. Yes, I have um, two comments here. The first comment, which I have, it says, Yes, they would, they would because IPOB is a terror group that has been killing and eating innocent people in the Southeast. And another comment, which is my last comment here, says, Do you think is a lie? Personally, in my own view, in my own view,
about this news is the police the policemen have not done well at all it is inhumane and unprofessional when you went to arrest someone and you started shooting you started shooting up sporadically scaring people in the environment and the worst of it all is that they were all masked thinking they were all masked with their black uniforms and what what impression are you giving people you came you came to arrest someone not even not even with his well, not even with his consent you didn't even seek his consent you abducted him that is that is that is that is another that is another means of abduction when you went to someone and you started shooting up sporadically just to scare people to run away and you and you boggled him inside a bus who gave the order i wonder i wonder why we don't use our sense where we give orders because i want to be i want to be sure now that it was the it was the order given to them that this policeman follows or should we say it is the policeman that actually did that that actually did like a fool's because this is an act of a fool too when you went to a community a gathering where, where there are a lot of people most especially a church gathering where there are people re rejoicing and you started shooting sporadically even in the present situation of this country what what do you what do you what do you think the people would do they would think the kidnappers the flani others the Boko Haram's are around now it is it is revealed to us that many people have been injured what what, what do you expect when people are when people are running to different direction people will start injuring themselves let's just assume that um when the gun this thing is going on the gun actually met one of the people that were running around what would the government say what would they do we we should i think it is high time these people need reorientation they need to be reorientated when you go to someone you, you seek his consent hey mr man you're under arrest why should you go and abduct him they should in fact if it's not as if they don't want to drag with the federal government or so they should be taken to the law court and because it is it is unlawful the person they want to arrest is he a criminal does he have a gun people around him are they criminals do they have guns around so why should you go there and scare people this should be taken to a law court and it is it is unconstitutional it is unprofessional it is unlawful it is a very barbaric uh, a barbaric um, act which i feel it is it, it's it, necessary department should take note of that so my dear listeners now i've come to the end of our today's news Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.